Good Sunday afternoon, everybody. Big storm for some coming. And as usual, there's a lot of details need to be worked out, but there's a few key things I want to share with everybody in terms of how I see the storm evolving. Because there's a big spread with the models, but I think a lot of it is noise. And again, I'm not, I don't have a crystal ball here, but I'm going to tell you what I think happens. This is my forecast. Uh, it's actually elevation dependent because we're not going to have high snow ratios with this. So it's likely that even if things go the way I think they're going to go, I'm going to even be cutting down things along East, you know, the shore of Massachusetts down here because I think some warm air is going to work in. So I actually think this forecast is generous for some areas further to the south. Um, that's just the way I see it. Let's take a look at how the storm's going to evolve. I'm showing the Canadian model because I think the Canadian's handling the mid levels the best in terms of where it's setting up the precipitation for this storm. So we have energy to the north and energy to the south. What's going to happen here, guys, is you have a surface low forming uh, by the time we get to Monday afternoon just off the uh, Virginia coast here. And then you have an upper level low. It's going to try to capture this storm and then pull it back. Very tricky situation. From my experience, there's always surprises with these systems. So what the Canadians doing is it shows you, okay, some, some precipitation developing ahead of the surface low. In comes the upper level low from here. And all of a sudden, all this heavy snow breaks out uh, into, the in into the northeast, as you can see right here. Um, Notice it's bringing warm air in off the ocean, which I think is a risk, but then it has really the heaviest snow centered over the Berkshires, Hunter Mountain area, southern Vermont, and then eventually into Maine as this low stalls and does a loop-de-loo. -loop. Now, there's other models like the NAM, for example, that are completely um, exploding the storm closer to the coast and, and giving a blizzard to New Jersey. I don't think that's correct. It all comes down to how the mid-level low is being handled. So this is the... Uh, um, Canadian model handling the low at 14,000 feet. So if you notice, it tries to form this low just over Long Island. And, and rule of thumb, you're going to see the heavy snow to the north and northwest of this uh, 700 millibar low. The NAM, on the other hand, you could see is really trying to tuck that low into the coast. And then if we go to the GFS, which is over here, the GFS is, is not is, doesn't know what it wants to do. It has this double-barreled feature at, at 14,000 feet, one, two. So it ends up putting precipitation all over the place. I don't think this is correct either. I think it's too cold for areas down here in eastern Massachusetts. So that's why I think the Canadian right now is a good compromise, and it closely follows my forecast in this being the epicenter up here in these marginal areas really going to be coming down to the wire. Um, I want to show you what a capture looks like. This is the NAM showing the best-case scenario for the city. My experience, even if this was to show tonight again, at the last minute you tend to see these things end up developing more to the northeast. So I think this is wrong. I, again, I could be wrong. I could be my words tomorrow, but I don't think this is a valuable solution. Uh, one more thing. It's going to be warm. There's not this deep, cold air mass in place ahead of this system. So if you look at the uh, temperatures ahead of this storm, we're barely uh, at freezing. So the ratios are going to be very low near the coastal areas, and we're not going to see 10 to 1, 12 to 1 ratios till we get to the interior. So it's all factored into my map. Stay tuned. That's the way I see things now. Canadian's my model of choice, and I think it's going to be a Berkshire, Hunter Mountain, uh, northwestern Connecticut, uh, southern Vermont special.